First, in a matter of days, area schools will start the new year, but some students still don't know which school they will attend, and they won't know until some legal battles are decided. Cynthia Newsom is live at the Jackson County Courthouse with tonight's top story. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, Elizabeth. You know, those students who want to transfer out of Kansas City public schools are on a waiting list, even though a court has already ruled that surrounding districts have to take those students. However, this latest legal challenge boils down to one word, and that word is money. Now, here's the background on the case. Kansas City Public Schools lost accreditation last September, meaning students are free to transfer to surrounding school districts. In August, the court ruled that area districts must accept those transfer students. The surrounding districts believe 7,000 students will flood their schools. And when you look at the cost of educating students, the cost per pupil in Kansas City for far outweighed surrounding districts, coming in at more than $14,000 per student last year. The students transferring from Kansas City public schools are, on average, more expensive to educate. That's what the evidence will be. So, court, the judge is being asked to rule that surrounding districts must have more money from the state to educate the transfer students. Attorney for the state disagree. They believe that there is no proof 7,000 students will want to transfer, and therefore surrounding districts don't need that extra money. Now, this case is expected to continue through Wednesday, and there's no telling when the judge will make a ruling. And even when he does, there's still another issue. Kansas City Public Schools want to make monthly tuition payments to surrounding districts, but those districts want a lump sum upfront tuition payment. That issue could also wind up in court, leaving those students who want to get transferred out of Kansas City Public Schools forced to stay in Kansas City until all the battles are decided. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.